In this example, uh, we are asked to find the uh, 1, 2, and infinity and Frobenius norm of this rectangular matrix. Okay, so first, how do we find the 1 norm? So the 1 norm of the matrix A will be the max of the row sum in absolute value. So you take, sorry, of the column sums in absolute value. So you take the first column in absolute value, you take the sum, so it will be 3, and the second columns will be in absolute value, the sum will be 5, and the absolute value of the third columns is 6, so then the 1 norm of A is just equals 6. And for the infinity norm of the matrix A, now we just take the max of the row sum. Yeah, so the row sum is, now you have to take this row in absolute value. You take the sum, so 1, 3, 2 is 6. And then for the second row, 2, 2, 4 is 8. So the max of 6 and 8 is just 8. So for the 2 norm, sorry, for the infinity norm, so that's just a max of the row sums. Now for the 2 norm, so the for 2 norm, first you have to compute the matrix A transpose A. Yeah, so A transpose A will be uh, 1 minus 2, sorry, minus 3, 2, and then minus 2, 2, 4, and then you multiply with the matrix A, so 1 minus 3, 2, minus 2, 2, 4, and it will give you the square matrix. 5, minus 7, 6, minus 7, 13, 2, minus 6, 2, 20. And now you have to find the eigenvalues of the matrix A transpose A. So the eigenvalues of this matrix are 0, 14, and 24. And then you take the max of the three eigenvalues. So the maximum value will be 24. So therefore the norm, the two norm of the matrix A will be max of lambda A transpose A and then take the square root, yeah. So it will be, it will be square root of 24. And it will be 4.899, okay? So how about the Frobenius norm? So Frobenius norm of the matrix A is, you know, I mean, if you square it, it will equal the square of all the entries, yeah? So it will be 1 plus 9 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 16, yeah? And when you sum it up, we equal 38. And so hence the, hence the Frobenius norm of the matrix A, we just square root of 38, and it will equal 6.1644. Okay, that's it.